Hi guys and welcome to 2020. This is my first official video that I've made uh, for this email list and so I'm excited to encourage you and um, I just hope you're doing very well this year. Um, two weeks ago, I actually sent out an email about forgiving ourselves and truly I believe if we, we all want to move forward in life and if we want to move forward in God's calling for our life, um, what can hold us back, I believe, is, is unforgiveness of ourself. And so I encourage you to check out that email from two weeks ago. But today I also want to talk about the topic of forgiveness, but this time I want to talk about us forgiving other people. And this is something that we all deal with every day because we live in a world with other fallen people. And so people that don't know Christ and even believers that know Christ that still, um, look, we still can make mistakes. And so it's, it's very easy to, to, you know, to want vengeance, to want justice on the party that's doing us wrong, that's treating us wrong at a workplace or a family member or a school or, or, or a group of people that we feel, you know, someone is being rude to us or being, you know, they're angry towards us. It's easy to then harbor bitterness and to be angry at them. But truly we lose out and we're not going to grow in our Christian faith if we're, if we're just the way they treat us, we're going to treat them back. And again, that's the easiest path, but that's not the way that, that God wants for us. And if we truly do want to grow in our in faith, and if we truly want to become a greater level of Christianity, if you will, not, not religious, but if you, if you want to become mature, if you don't want to drink the milk anymore, like, like Paul says, if you want to have the meat, then man, we should want to demonstrate that light on this earth, in your workplace, in your family, by being the mature, the more mature one and saying, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get upset at them. They hate me. They, they disregard me. You know, they, they don't like the way I talk. They don't like the work I do. You know, I am not going to, I'm not going to be angry at them. I'm going to forgive them. I'm going to love them. And truly, I, that's a massive demonstration when we do that uh, in the workplace and, and around our city, our community. People see that in us. And truly, I believe that's going to lead more people to want to have what we have because we should be joyful. And, and the, the world, man, when someone persecutes or someone gets angry at someone else, it's easy to see if they're walking in the love of God or if they're not, or if they're a believer, if they're not, by the way they treat each other. That in the world, if someone lashes out at someone, the other person just lashes back out and just, it's a fight. But when someone lashes out at you and you just keep your calm, keep your patience and just, hey, you know, I love you. I forgive you. You know, that is the demonstration of a Christian. And just as it says in Colossians and, oh gosh, Ephesians, uh, it talks about, hey, Christ forgave us. Christ forgave me and you. If we're a believer, he forgave you and me. And he forgave also the non-believers. But how much more, if he's forgiven us and we have a revelation of that, should we not then forgive our brothers and sisters who, who maybe don't know the love of God yet? That is a great segue into, hey, Brandon, why, why don't you lash out at me when I get angry at you? Hey, that's a perfect opportunity to share the gospel, the good news. I hope this finds you well. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next week.